right. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, the first ever episode of Bash Brothers. Yeah, that's um, right. Which is, I, I guess good. that's the name that you made up from a game you made in high school. Is well, that where Bash comes from. Or well, I think I think a lot of people used the, the term Bash Brothers, um, but yeah. Who sure. else used it? Well, I mean, like, there's a couple people in like the NFL that they call themselves the Bash Brothers. A couple of people. Is it people like other people would know, or is it just a you kind of thing? Um, you know, I mean, I'll take credit for it. Sure, we okay. can be the first original Bash Brothers. We are. We are the uh, first original Bash Brothers in media. Yeah. In, his, in the history of everything. Yeah, exactly. Um, that makes me scared now that there's gonna be some football players out there and be like, "You taking our names?" They can like come burst down our doors like linebackers. I think. I think we were here first. I See, think, you're I right. Think it's I agree. Yeah. Um, so Cause, this, because you know how I know we were here first. How? How old is this game? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. God, it's got to be like ten years old. See? Yeah. See? So I mean, we had this. We had this name way back then. Yeah. No one was game. even alive back then. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is Mass Effect, and you've never played it. I have. You know, I've never played it. I, I believe there are three. There are three currently. They're about to come out with a new one. Okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, but the the new one's actually not of this timeline, so it's uh, you it know let's, affected. Since I haven't played any of this, it doesn't even matter. Not, let's not confuse me. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and just get started then. So I All have right. played the living bejesus out of this game. Should we connect to the database? I think so. I, I think we should. Yeah. Um, this game is basically uh, you are a superhero, kind of. Um, John Shepard. That, well, no, we're gonna make his name better. Custom female. How John are you Shepherd. feeling? Wasn't he the Stargate guy? John Shepard. Stargate Atlantis. It does sound like yeah. I think his that name was, was Shepard. I don't, and I think his name, first name was John. Yeah. Yeah. Very common names. Oh, so yeah. I'm so, already loving it because so, it's got a Stargate analogy. So should we just like want to make a different Stargate character? Is that your favorite Stargate character? Yeah, let's make a different Stargate character. All right, so we're gonna do a custom, or is it a male? I want to do the female Stargate character. Uh, let's do male. All right. Uh, it's got to be last name has to be Shepard. Oh, it does. Yeah. So I mean, we could be the Shepard. Um, <laughs> well, his name was John Shepard. Sheep Shepard. So John, <laughs> this this very, very good custom yeah. creation we have here. Yeah, John. Jo John Shepard. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Right. Take out the H. All right, John, John. Very good. Look at that. Like little John. Amazing. Little John Shepard. Little John, little John Shepard. Shepard. All right, we're good. Um, all right. So this is okay. The so slowest advanced military computer I've ever seen. Well, it is ten years old, right? Yeah, uh, you're right. You're right. So I mean, verifying username. And of course, everything's broken. Did we spell John wrong? Is that why? It, little John. Um, uh, well, we didn't put the apostrophe in, in between Little and John. Yep. So, so we're gonna make our profile now. So, essentially, hmm. your options are: you were born on ships and traveled a lot. Basically, you're a military brat, um, hmm. and your parents were in the military. Okay. Um, you can be a colonist, where you are also spent on ships. Uh, but, but you're not military. Uh, your family isn't. Uh, well, yeah. Why don't sorry. you click on it so I can read it? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't think you were military in this one. Um, oh, your uh, your family was slaughtered. Yep. Yep. And then you enlisted Slavers. in the military. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's a very pleasant one. Yeah. Um, and then Earthborn. Um, you escaped a life of petty crime, underworld gangs, and enlisted in the Alliance military until you, you turned 18. I don't think I would have escaped life of petty crime and underworld gangs, so I, I, I'm feeling like I'm a colonist. Okay. All I, right. I like the I like you know the tragic backstory that All we right. have here. So we're going to be really screwed up. You know, We're going to be the emo child for the rest of this game. <laughs> All right, so psychological profile. Soul survivor. Um, you, know, you can kind of read it for yourself, but sure. it, uh, essentially um, you horrible things happened. <laughs> Uh, we survived, we've made it through, and we're kind of known for that. Okay. Uh, War Hero, where we basically save a whole bunch of people in a yeah. against all odds situation. You don't like the War Hero? That's your goody goody, you know? All right, fine. Ruthless, then. The exact opposite of goody goody. Well, um, get the job done. I mean, we're not a dick either. You know what I mean? You just so that cold, calculated, and brutal. <sighs> I, I think I, I'm feeling Soul Survivor. Like, again, the tragic. Soul, all right. We, so we've got that, you we know, got, we've got that tragic, like. We are a hair flipping emo kid in high school the, right now. The, okay. <laughs> well, you're not emo. You just have that tragic, you know, you're, you're deep. You're like Batman. You know, you got that angst. <laughs> okay. All right. No, I can get down. I can get down with being <laughs> it's like. It's not emo. It's Batman. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a Born difference. In it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so now we get to pick kind of how we want to do a loadout, which I think I should probably care more about than you since I'm the one playing the damn game. You are playing. Um, just for everybody. Oh, by the way, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm Mike. Yeah. Mike and Chris. Yeah. Um, um, that's all you need to know about us, really. That's true. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
soldier engineer adept. So, uh, so this is a single player game. So you will be playing it by yourself. You are you are in effect the sole survivor here. Oh, so I am an okay. I have become the sole survivor. I am like I'm the voice of your conscience. Oh, oh, consciousness. okay. So you're gonna be like Navi to, yeah. to my Legend of Zelda. Is it pronounced Navi? I thought it was Navi. <laughs> Navi. We're getting off on a tangent here, but <laughs> I've never heard it pronounced Navi. I've, really? Never? <laughs> no. I've always said Navi. Navi. I've heard people say Navi. You know what we should do? We should play that game later, and then when they say her name in the game, we'll know for sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> they always say her name. It comes up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, anyways. And we all know the voice acting, and Legend of Zelda is, is what the series is known for. It is. It um, is. I think Infiltrator is the way to go. If I remember, they're good at Long um, range. pistols and sniper rifles, and pistols are way OP in this game. Oh, so you're you're one of those kind of players, are you? Yeah. You I see how it is. Tribes, too. Uh, sniper rifle. I don't remember. Around. All right, so let's uh, change the appearance. Sniper. So, um... How awful should we be? Well, we're a soul know. survivor, right? So yeah. he's got to have some scarring. All right. I'm pretty sure there's a scar button. Nope. What? I mean, there, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh you know what? Oh. I like the one. Go back and keep going. That one. That one? All yeah. right. All right. Complexion. Uh, how warped? Um, uh, that, all right. Not too warped, you know? I mean, right. like, um, I don't know. It depends on who you want to play as. I mean, you you are pretty you're pretty white. Yeah. As if we if we were maybe not that white. Keep going. I'm pretty white. I'm like this white. I don't yeah. know. I'm looking at you right now. Well, you're not there. You know, you're not. Th okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Super <laughs> right. Um, facial structure. Oh. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Right. Uh. Oof. Um. Ooh, the tiny the eyes. The way the neck just changes down there. It's, it's it is a little weird. I kind of like. I kind of like this guy. All right, we'll do it. All he right. looks like a warrior, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Not some pussy sniper. Yeah, but. no, exactly. <laughs> um, and let's see, head. I don't really want to go through all of these things. So it's up to you. Let's uh, let's let's change the hair. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, oh, he's got to have a uh, he little a bit of a uh, goatee. I'm thinking goatee. Yeah, oh, oh, like here. Yeah, there you go. All right, brow. Some like ridiculous brow. No. Eh. Uh, ooh, yeah. Sure. All right, and hair. There we go. Uh, I don't like the shaven look, you know. I don't think. No. I think we there's gotta, no long and shaggy. There's not. I this guess. One? I guess we'll right, go with that. Hair color. How old should he be? Is there a gray? No, there's not a gray. Well, you're, you're, you, you got Yeah, a, okay, I'll be blonde. All right. Well, I mean, with if you're a sniper, with I mean, red pubic like <laughs> facial hair. <laughs> if you're a sniper, they're gonna see that blonde hair from a mile away, you know. That's true. Um. But that's but, my mo. They right. see me coming and die anyway. Um, all right. They, all right. <laughs> so that's the first sniper. That's our hero, Little John Shepard, <laughs> striking resemblance to the rapper. I mean, no um, intended resemblance to any existing character. Exactly. Um, okay, we're good. Identification. Uh, what do they say? Any any resemblance to real life characters is purely coincidental. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Okay. So um, um, pansy mode, normal mode, badass mode. I mean, it's up to you. We're gonna go with normal mode. Okay. I've beaten this game so many times. Well, then, um, then shouldn't we do veteran? I'm just saying. It's still for a video show. I don't want to be that bad on the internet. All right, fair enough. Um, target assist. Uh, I guess we'll do normal. Squad power usage. Active. Subtitles, yes. Auto save, yes. All right. I didn't know what any of those meant. That's okay. It's not key to the core part of the game. Excellent. You're about to hear our backstory. Well, Should I be quiet then? Shepherd. Yes, little John Shepard. What? That's the little John, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the voice from uh, the sergeant See, from Halo. We made sure he had scars. Is it? Or is that the voice of Master Chief? No, Master Chief doesn't have one. Thank you. I'm glad you caught up with that. <laughs> That's the voice of Navi. This is a very Top Gun-esque introduction. Just scroll text across the screen. I'm going to assume that most people have, um, since this game is 10 years old, have paid attention to what's going on here. Um, oh, like people have played it before? Is that what you're getting at? Or like it's not spoiler alert? Yeah, but but like this is all new to me. So so we went to Mars and we found something. Yes. Something that changed the, the I don't know. Fabric of 
Time the and way, space. It's, well, it's the way it was we can, Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way we can tra traverse uh, uh, the galaxy. God, that hair is just the worst. Um, God. <laughs> Um, who's it's like Eminem back when he was a blonde is is, is our lead character from behind. Um, yeah, so essentially we we found this thing called the Mass Effect, um, like we just stumbled upon it behind a planet, and we don't know really where it came from. There are theories about how they were made and whatnot, but we were able to use those to advance our civilization by going to far out places and gather resources and stuff that we just couldn't get to before. Um, so that's the Mass Effect. It, it's a means of transportation, basically. Ready for the? Oh, it's so magical! Oh, there he is. Yep, the freaking facial hair is just so good. <laughs> it is. It really makes the character. Yeah, it does. So, what is this ship? This is the USS Normandy. Is it I, really? I assume it's the USS Normandy. It's the Normandy. Hmm. Is it really? Yes, yeah. <laughs> it is called the Normandy. <laughs> it, 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 what, that's not, that them. doesn't look like a ship. It looks like a gun. That is a, that is a Mass Effect. Oh, that, that's the Mass Effect relay. Oh, they call them Mass Effect relays. So we found that on Mars, and then we behind put it in, Mars. Oh, behind Mars. I got yeah, you. Because you know things can be behind stuff in space. No, they can't. Well, space is three D, so technically they could. Yeah, but not forever. It's not like we wouldn't have seen it by now. It's alien, Chris. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm an idiot. You know, clearly have, you know, protection from sensors. It stays behind, you know, just like the alien um, alien structures behind the moon, on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, I read 1842. I haven't, but... I don't think that's the name of the book, is it? What is it? 1942? That's What's the George Orwell? Oh, 1984. <laughs> of course, 1842. You haven't read that book? I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with your statement just there because... It had nothing to do with aliens. Okay. <laughs> All right, so wait. So this game is actually full of dialogue. Okay, here we go. Um, but before we do this, we actually should probably pick this up next time on Bash Brothers. All right, um, let's do that. All right, thanks, guys. See you next right, time. See ya.